Today, we're going to be doing a service on the automatic gearbox on my Skoda Octavia. Now, this particular gearbox is used in all Skodas, VWs, Seats, and Audis with a 1.6 engine diesel or petrol. It doesn't make any difference. Um, so if you have that size engine, then the chances are your auto gearbox is that type. We'll show you a little bit later in the video how to check. Please note, this is the DQ200 gearbox, or sometimes referred to as 0AM gearbox. It has a dry clutch. So the oil we'll be changing will be the mechatronic oil and also the gear oil itself. Obviously, not the clutch oil because it is a dry clutch. And the reason why I'm doing this is, A, my vehicle's done 120,000 miles. B, when I pull away, it's very unresponsive. If I had a wet clutch gearbox, I would definitely have done this every 40,000 miles or so. But because it's a dry clutch, I don't feel that it needs doing as frequently. So let's see if it improves the driving experience. Right, that one comes out nice and easily. The other one, the other side, is a little bit harder. And um, what we're going to do is, it's got flats on the outside of it, uh, but it's also got a splined bit on the inside of it. Um, so I'm actually going to use the splined bit to, uh, to get it out. That guy right there, that is the filler plug for the mechatronics unit. The front is the mechatronic unit, which we'll be doing in a moment. Um, but right now we're going to drain the gear oil right out, which is it's going to come out through that drain plug there. It's a 10 mil hex bit. So just going to get a hex bit going there. It should come out about 1.7, 1.8 litres, somewhere thereabouts. The VW specify a range. It should be between 1.7 and 1.9 litres. So when refilling, probably go to 1.8. Yeah, we're just going to measure what comes out just to be absolutely certain that we're roughly in the right ballpark. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and drain the mechatronic unit. Here's the drain plug here. This is a 5mm Allen key or hex bit. And the torque for this is 30 Newton metres. It's worth noting that underneath the gearbox there's this plate here which gives you the exact type of gearbox. Okay, so if you look at the first part of that, that says OAM, uh, that is the type of the gearbox. OAM means DQ200. There's also another plate on the front of the mechatronic unit. So that also says OAM on the front there as well. Okay, so this is the gear oil. We've actually taken out 1.4 litres, um, which is actually quite a bit less than I thought. It should be about 1.7, maybe even 1.8. I did leave it to drain for a good half hour, so that, that's how much we've got of the gear oil. Uh, Mechatronic is bang on, we've got exactly one litre, and that's exactly what you'd expect in the Mechatronic, between 0.9 and one litre, so that is absolutely spot on. Um, so I'm gonna refill the Mechatronic back up with one litre, and the gear oil will go ahead and refill that with uh, about 1.7 uh, litres in line with the manufacturer's spec. So VW claimed that the automatic gearbox is sealed for life, um, and I, I definitely would dispute that. This is the mechatronic oil. This guy here is the old mechatronic oil. This is the new mechatronic oil. If I shine a light through the rear on the old, you can't really see anything coming through there at all. On the new, you can just see a light, a bit of translucency, a bit of green there. I don't need to shine a light on these guys. This is the old gear oil. This is the new gear oil, um, or the diff. Uh, even if I shine a light through that old one, you can hardly see anything there, maybe a tiny bit. The new one is a beautiful translucent kind of amber colour. So um, that shows you the difference in changing the oil. So it's sealed for life. It's a load of rubbish. VW, stop telling us lies. Um, and, and let's let us take care of our, our gearboxes. So um, the filler for the rear um, part of the gearbox. This is the gear section. Uh, it literally is just uh, it's a breather cap. You just literally pull that cap off, um, and then you can 
uh, put a, a pipe onto there. Now you can either put a pipe inside. Um, the internal diameter of that is about eight millimeters. I found about six and a half mil outer diameter pipe goes in quite nicely. But personally, I want to seal it over the outside to avoid any chance of anything coming back out. Um, uh, and the outer diameter of here is about 12 mil. I found that flexible silicone of 10 mil inner diameter seals on that really nicely. So that is what we'll be using today. Guy on. I've got this kind of elaborate setup here, but really the order is it's, um, it's, it's this 10 mil inner diameter silicone hose. Got this nice little fill um, funnel. The important thing to remember is when you're filling it is to not allow the fluid to completely fill up the hose because it's going through the breather. So it needs to breathe itself, it needs to burp itself. So I'm just going to very, very, very slowly fill this. If you fill it really, really full, what you'll find is you get a blowback um, and then it goes everywhere and then you've lost um, a measure of how much you've put in, which means you've got to drain it all out and start all over again because there's no dipstick, there's no way of seeing the level. Uh, I'm going to put in 1.7 litres of gear oil, so let's get going. Okay, now the oil I'm using is the official VW oil. Okay, so now we can go ahead and we're going to actually uh, remove this guy here, which is the fill cap for the mechatronic unit. Measured the uh, diameter of that hole there, that's actually nine millimeters. So I've got my original funnel and I've got this length of pipe here, which actually I connect this small one. This is about seven mil outer diameter pipe. This is about nine mil outer diameter. Um, I've just, I just opened it up on the inside with this beautiful tool here, which just allows you to just squeeze, squeeze it open and it'll, it'll just stretch pipe so you can just get it on because it wouldn't quite fit on the end of there. Um, and that's actually going in rather nicely into uh, into the fill hole there. We haven't got to worry about burping or, or blowback at all of the fluid going in because of course uh, this one's got a, a breather a breather cap. Many videos show you to fill through that breather cap but we're filling through the fill hole so the breather's going to do its job. So we can just go ahead and chuck a litre of oil straight into that mechatronic unit. Okay so I'm using the official VW oil for this. This is hydraulic oil of course. I'll put a part number in the description and also an equivalent that you might want to try if you're if you're brave but personally I think spend the money and get the proper gear, that's my opinion. Um, you can see no, no spillage at all there, which is great. Um, and we can now put everything back the way it came off. I've got two flexible attachments here to get the torque wrench onto it. Strap onto there. Right, we'll now go ahead and get this battery tray back on. WD-40 on these rubber bits makes such a big difference. One final bit to show you guys, and that is when you uh, turn your ignition on for the first time, 
your whole dashboard's going to light up like a Christmas tree and you get all these error messages and you'll think, oh my goodness. All you need to do, start the engine, circle the steering wheel all the way to the left, hold it there for a second, circle it all the way to the right, hold it there for a second, and then circle it back to the middle. And all those areas will disappear. So if we start up again now. No messages. Simple, right? Hope that helps.